Hi guys, Vuvu here, I'm going to be analyzing Defensive Rotom C. Most people who play LU think that Rotom C is a primarily offensive Pokemon which will usually run Choice Scarf, Choice Specs, or on occasion Life Orb. However, it can run the defensive set. It's a, it has pretty good defensive stats, 50 base HP, which is mediocre, but it also has 107 in both base defenses, meaning that a defensive set is completely viable. It has a unique typing of Grass Electric, coupled with the ability Levitate, which means that it has an immunity to ground attacks, which it would normally be neutral to. The Electric typing pretty much separates it from all the rest of the Grass types that are available in LU, because it, um, it neutralizes the flying weakness that, all gra that the Grass type has. It also has 85 base speed, 86 base speed, which although isn't amazing for an offensive Pokemon, on a defensive one, it can, it allows it to outspeed anything lower than it, obviously, since defensive Pokemon don't run defensive EVs usually. So it can outspeed things like um, Altaria, Mesprit, um, re well, really, you know, Slow King, obviously, Tanzula, anything, any wall in LU that isn't Miltank or Cryogonal is pretty much outsped by Defensive Rotom C. Okay, so now this part is supposed to go in, well, at the part where I'm just talking about the actual set in what I think is part two. I forget to mention the actual move set, so. I say the baby spread and whatnot, but I don't say the actual set, so I'm gonna say it now. Obviously, it'll be in a picture and whatever, but I'll just say it. The move set that this set is running is Paint Split, Leaf Storm, Will O Wisp, and Volt Switch normally. It can run Thunder Wave over Will O Wisp or Discharge over Volt Switch, depending on what exactly it wants to do. If it doesn't care as much about keeping momentum, it can go for Discharge to get Paralysis on things it can't burn, such as Entei. Or if it doesn't, if the team needs, well, if the team's theme is para support, it can go for Thunder Wave instead of will o -Wisp. Also has a great move pool for a defensive set. Having access to will o -Wisp, be, and Rotom C and the rest of the Rotom forms that aren't Rotom normal form, being the only Pokemon that can that have access to Will O Wisp without being Ghost or Fire type except Soul Rock. Um, it also has access to Thunder Wave, which is always useful on defensive Pokemon. Pain Split, which is semi -reli semi reliable as recovery. It's better than what other things have, things like Clay Doll. And it has access to useful offensive moves like Volt Switch, Discharge, and Leaf Storm. The actual set I'm going to be talking to you about today is Rotom C with 252 EVs in HP, 136 EVs in Defense, 120 EVs in Special Defense, and Calm Nature, which lowers its attack and raises, raises its Special Defense. That spread is the spread that Rotom C can run that makes it bulkier, bulkier than any other spread, as is shown by the application that is the link to which is going to be found in the description of this video. It can function on both offensive and defensive teams, as its typing allows it to switch in on bulky waters with relative ease on any team. It can come in on slow king. And even if Slowking predicts Rotom C coming in and Fire Blasts, it doesn't even to hit KO. It can come in on any other bulky water in the tier even more easily. Nothing can kill it except like offensive Omastar, which isn't a bulky water. But it can come in on anything from Quillfish to Lomomola to Polyrath and have its way. On an offense team, it can provide a functional pivot for the team so it can come in on something like an Electros Thunderbolt 
and then Volt Switch out and go to something that can take the Flamethrower and can then KO Electros. Well, normally it wouldn't be able to bring that Pokemon in. On stall teams, it can function as a useful wall. It can synergize well with bulky waters, which exist on most stall teams, like Omastar um, or Quillfish. And generally, if provides the stall team with momentum, which is always valuable for a stall team. So it can come in on something like, what? Like a Feraligator. Feraligator uses Waterfall. Then it can Volt Switch out and decide from there what to go to if the Feraligator switches out. It can go something to wall, whatever comes in, etc. As for teammates encounters, for teammates, the best teammates are probably Quillfish, Elimomola, and Omastar. Quillfish has Intimidate, so if it runs a fully physically defensive set, it can come in on fighting, no, yeah, on um, poison attacks, it can come in on fire attacks, it can come in on bug attacks, and really, and ice attacks. Which are which Rotom C is weak to, and take them and then proceed to do whatever, like Thunder Wave, Spike, Toxic Spike, Waterfall Taunt, whatever it wants to do. And Rotom C can take electric attacks, ground attacks, both of which Quillfish is weak to. As for La Momola, the, the fact that Rotom C doesn't have particularly reliable recovery, seeing as it has to run Pain Split for any recovery means that yeah means that receiving wishes from a Lomola is really beneficial for it especially when it's low on health it can come in on something like an elective via wild charge and get the wish and get back to full health essentially since a Lomola has a huge hp stat and Rotom C has a tiny one it can pretty much heal up completely just from a wish one wish will take it pretty much to full health. Um, Alamola also resists fire attacks and ice attacks, and Rotom C resists electric and grass. Then there's Omastar, which resists fire attacks. It resists ice as well. Um, it doesn't resist bug, but it can handle most bug type Pokemon with relative ease. And Rotom C resists pretty much almost every weakness that Omastar has except fighting. It resists grass, which Omastar is weak two times four. It resists electric, it resists ground, and it can, it can come in on any of those attacks. Omastar can come in on any of those types and then proceed to either Shell Smash, or if it's running a defensive set, it can use hazards. It can go Stealth Rock, Toxic Spike, or Spike, do whatever it wants. As for counters, any specially defensive cleric can wall Rotom, Rotom C pretty easily. Things like Licky Licky, Odino, Sap Sipper Milk Tank, um, Flareon. Flareon is by far the one of the best counters to defensive Rotom C, as it can come in on Will O Wisp, it can come in on Leaf Storm, it can come in on. Uh, Volt Switch, and it can come in on Paint Split and then proceed to do whatever it wants. Be it an offensive set or a defensive set, it can either Heal Bell, um, Lava Plume, Flamethrower, whatever. Um, Altari is also a pretty good counter to it, as it can come in on will o -Wisp and then either Heal Bell or switch out and get Natural Cure to cure the status. It, can, it resists Leaf Storm times four, it takes neutral damage, from Volt Switch and has a massive special defense stat, meaning that it won't mind taking Volt Switch. And it has recovery, so pain splitting will never be a problem for it. So, that's specially defen that's defensive Rotom C, guys. Um, hope you realize how good it is, and I hope you see it on ladder once in a while.